Hey guys, what's up? Splendid Gaming here, and today I'm gonna power up some of my Pokemon, especially my Tyranitars, in anticipation of the new Mewtwo raids that should be coming within one week, I'll guess, uh, but very soon. So Mewtwo is coming, I want my Tyranitars to be powered up. Also, I have a lot of Stardust, I have 250,000 Stardust, so I will power up two Tyranitars from level 20 to level 30 which will take 66 candies and 75,000 Stardust each. So after I power up those two Tyranitars, uh, one of which I have to walk and the another one I got from Raid, uh, I will power up some of my other Pokemon, maybe Lugia. Uh, I have uh, given some rare candy to all my legendary Pokemon. so. Let's see, my main target here is to power up Tyranitar. So let's power up two of these. I will stop when we reach uh, 66 candy. So here we go. 52, that's crazy. Uh, I'll assume we will have like uh, 3000 or 3100 Tyranitar. 52 again, wow. So we are spending... 75,000 Stardust and a total of 66 candies and a lot of those have come from rare candies also if I show you I have walked a lot with this Larvitar when I hatched it and 309 kilometers walked uh, I walked a lot more than that because I switched to another Larvitar because I wanted to use this one uh, and I switched the buddy before evolving so I walked even more than that so wow I worked so much with this Larvitar alright we are having some huge gains this is really good IV Larvitar I don't know exact IV but out of the three Tyranitars I have this one is the best alright we are already around 2500 and uh, we are like 40 more candies to go also, I want to notice that where is the cutoff for the level 30. So, I will know where to cut off my power-ups for other Pokemon. I want to power up for level 30 because after that, the scaling of the attacks, uh, that severely goes down. And the cost per benefit, uh, cost per benefit ratio is extremely bad. So, spending that much Stardust and Candies is not good you better spend those on another Pokemon. Let's say a second Tyranitar, like I'm doing right now. I'm powering two to level 30 instead of one all the way up. This way I will have two better attackers. Then one really good attacker and one good attacker. So this way we are gaining more. So if you are wondering, we'll just figure out how much Stardust and Candy we need to cut off at. 86, we are at we are gonna stop at 66 so 20 candies to go and even less now I believe the last of 5000 stardust power up will be there okay we are reaching 3000 now whoa 3000 52 CP per power up that is crazy it it is costing 5000 stardust and 4 candies at present all right, still 52. Oh, this is the last. So what we guessed was right. We reached 3100 and now the power up costs 5000. Oh, uh, that is a surprise. I thought the cost will be uh, 6000 now. Anyways, we are going to power up this guy now. So this way we don't have to worry this time about where to cut off our uh, power-ups because we are gonna spend literally every Tyranitar candy we have and it should come around the same oh we lost a revive uh, revives are so many uh, yeah recently they have been nerfed but I throw away so many revives we could have revived this guy before powering up but anyways uh, not a big deal we're just gonna power, up, power it up and then we are gonna look for some other attackers some of the Pokemon that I have in mind are obviously legendaries but because uh, I want to use these as gym defenders as well 
so maybe i'll look at some other pokemon as well we have still a lot of stardust after we are finished with this Tyranitar. we can uh, power up from level 20 to 30 for one pokemon and we will still have 40,000 more dust so we have plenty of dust we can power up one more guy or we can power up a lot of guys which are somewhere between 20 to 30 levels because of the way i caught them so let's see and also i want to see how much uh, cp this guy gains another thing both of my tyranitas are bite and crunch and i want to keep them not because that's good for me too but because that's the moveset i have and having bite and stone edge is good against some of the legendary counters but i want to use charge tms on a crunch or a stone edge tyranitar because you can end up having fire blast so don't waste your tm like that especially if you don't read so often and you're uh, low on the tms so i will never change moveset from stone edge or crunch in anticipation of one new legendary pokemon and then another one comes up and i want again a different moveset that's not a right choice in my opinion that's a wastage of tms you can keep getting fire blasts and after getting fire blasts you may end up with the same moveset you started with so what's the point so keep your bite crunch or keep stone edge if you have iron tail and fire blast change them those are bad movesets but after that you need not change whatever you got is fine keep them all right so we are all the way up to 3000 we are getting 52 uh, uh I, we will be very close we were 5 cp down at level 20 and we are gonna be 8 cp down at level 30 all right so two super powerful tyranitars so now i'm gonna look by cp and uh, gonna power up some of my highest cp pokemons uh yeah vaporian i'll get one vaporian up this one okay let's see what we can do with this guy unfortunately i didn't see at the tyranitars how many 5000 power ups i did so i will probably end up going beyond level 30 here maybe i won't have the candies for that let's see let's see uh what again hydro pump really good move set especially as an attacker as a defender i will say go for water gun aqua tail okay 2500 we are here uh 5000 cost let's see one five thousand two five thousand okay we, we are going beyond level 30 here i guess should we go ahead okay i'll go ahead with one more still uh we can still power it beyond this should we uh let's do it okay now i'm confused i don't know if i have to power up once twice or thrice with 5000 so what we will do is just to let's look at our tyranitars and see how much curve they are left with oh we definitely went a lot ahead so what i will do is two 5000 power ups and i'll leave the pokemon there and i'll do some more research and come back to how exactly we need to power up so let me see some other executor nope not this one mm, yeah this one is really good and uh, this is powered up quite a bit so i will star it because it came back from a gym it got uh, unfavorited so should i power it up let's see if we have something else okay we have a freligator here uh 2052 they're both water gun hydro pump one of them has bad ivs decent okay this is bad why did i power it up i uh evolved it it's it, that's my first for alligator i believe strong all right this is also not too good but uh, i guess we will power this guy up uh am i sure here how about this polyrath rock smash hydro bomb that's a really good 
tight any tight counter but it's already powered up so let's go ahead and do this for alligator and that executor we will just finish our stardust today i will do two five thousand stardust power-ups and that should be fine that should be level 30 or more than level 30 so that's fine okay this is having some good cp as well whoa we are already at 5000 um i guess we reached level 30 let's do one more and leave it there ah i wanted 2200 okay i'll leave it don't to uh, feel bad about that just all right so this one is the executor yes uh, don't care about reviving him just go ahead and do it I guess the rest of the stardust goes into this guy so here we go let's see how far we can go 40 that's good enough I need to revive and uh, heal a lot of my Pokemon uh, I did like one or two raids and uh, didn't revive anything after that also many of them have re returned from uh, defending gyms so i need to really get back on reviving and healing them especially before i do another raid so we are gonna keep going this time gonna keep notice of the 5000 stardust i'll do f two times if we have enough okay this is the first one all right that will be 2400 something that is really good that's my best grass type attacker i believe here we go a really good executor unfortunately my scissors are level 20 and i won't be able to do much for them how about this machap okay should we dump it all right we are dumping rest of the stardust onto this guy i really need a matchup nest although we are not having any trouble doing Tyranita raids with so many people, but uh, I like to have six fully powered up matchups that will take a lot of raids or a lot of visits to a matchup nest. Uh, not 2100, that's fine. We spend all our stardust, and after that, uh, we are. We got our best executor so far, and we got uh, our second best Vaporeon. Nope, we got our best Vaporeon today. We got our two Tarantas, which are my second and third highest CP Pokemon, which is crazy. So that is it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something i tried to be as descriptive as possible please leave a like and subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot and uh, motivate me to make more videos and i'll see you next time goodbye